Hi, Sean. I'm uh, recording this video to show you how to add dynamic networks in Gephi. So first, um, you can see here a GDF file. This represents bookmarkings in Conference Navigator. So the first thing I add here is um, a line where I define the nodes and the properties of each node, like name, label, short label, you see name 16, uh, label Peter, short label, well, the name, but I use the short label because I put as notes also the, the papers would have long names. This is type user, a URL directly to Conference Navigator, and here I have the time at which uh, this user bookmarked it for the first time. If you go down, you will see also in this list of notes, the papers, um, the ID is a bit different, the, the title of the paper, and I have this short title where I pick only 30 characters and then I add like three periods, then talk and URL, finally the date. So at the end of this, I have an edge definition here where you have node one, node two, and the time interval of the edge. Uh, you may maybe remove this thing because with the nodes it's enough, but I, as I have the exact uh, hour at which uh, bookmarking happened, I prefer to have it anyway. Okay, so when you um, go then to Gephi, open project, and then you can open the GDF file. If you go to data laboratory, you will see um, one... One, uh, I, I call it time interval for the nodes. So I need to transform this to this time space interval here in order to make it dynamic. So I go to merge, I click here in this column, I click on merge columns, and then I, I go here, columns, I select time interval, move it to the right panel, and I select here in this drop box the create time interval. When I click, I, I I can parse numbers or parse date. I tell the date format, and I define that the start date, well, it's just gonna take it from, from this column, and the end one, I will define exactly uh, an end time that I say that can be whichever day I think that the process is finished. So I'm gonna cancel here because I already did it, but once you have this, you will be able to see this enable timeline here. When you click in Enable Timeline, you will have this component that you can change this little window. And if you go to Overview, you will be able to see how moving this, you are showing more and less notes depending on the date they have. So to finish, I will show you here, you click in Play, and you will see how the network is being created on time based on bookmarking time. And although this doesn't look like beautiful, you can go to preview. In preview, it's not dynamic, but uh, you can see here, in this case, we refresh it. It is a node at the end. This is uh, Sorry, the network at the end. This is at the middle of February. See, there are less nodes. This is in January. There are less nodes and edges, and this is in December. There was only. Oh, there, are, oh, there were. There was only one node. That was this the bookmark. So when you go to January, refresh, then you see more. And as you move, you can see more and more edges being created. So that's it. I think you like it, and maybe you can share it with your students.